Hi, in this video I will talk about remote voltage sensing or just remote sensing. Remote sensing is used to compensate voltage drop on loads connecting cables to ensure that power supply deliver exact output voltage. If remote sensing function is provided, power supply has external remote sensing inputs like here in our case and when it is not used that inputs needs to be somehow connected to power outputs and many power supply with this functionality requires external wiring to provide connection between remote sensing inputs and power outputs when that function is not in use. In our case we are not using any external wiring for connecting remote sensing with power outputs and a small signal relay it's used to do that internally so by default remote sensing inputs it's connected to power outputs voltage drop on power cables could be significant and any power supply with 10 millivolt precision not to mention 1 millivolt should be equipped with remote sensing functionality in the next couple of minutes i'll try to reproduce situation what is shown here so power supply is set to 10 volt and connected with some very cheap cables with crocodile clips on one side and 3.3 ohm load we can see then more than 200 millivolts voltage drop can be expected on load terminals what can be measured using external voltmeter so let's do it Okay, we can see here 10 volts is still and here it's about 9.75, 250 millivolts voltage drop when current is around 3 amp. By default remote sensing it's not used and the voltage sensing it's connected internally using signal relays on that two point on power output terminals. Now we can continue with add additional wiring for remote sensing and we will activate that remote sensing and see what will be the end result. We need to use input 4 and 5 in this case. Okay, I can disconnect for the moment. Okay, like this. We still cannot see any difference because remote sensing is not activated. Status is off. And now, here we go. We have 10 volts like what is set because voltage is now measured directly on the load terminal and all cable loss and connection loss it's now compensated. We can do the same thing when channels it's coupled in parallel when output current could be up to 10 amp and in that case to compensate that losses we need to use remote sensing on the second channel too. As a first step we need to enter coupling mode in parallel and move this terminal okay again 10 volts 4 amp will be more than enough we need to stay in constant voltage mode and when remote sensing it's not activated we can see that huge drop uh, if we try to activate remote sensing with just one channel connected it's a little bit better but still it's not what we need I will use another set of cable and 
connect that once again close to low terminals and what we see now it's again 10 volt when connecting remote sensing input to outputs you need to take care about polarity and we added reverse polarity detection if you mistakenly swap that cables that will be detected and filmer will automatically switch off power output for example and we can see a message error message okay We can continue, or if error is happen, once again. That's all about remote sensing. Thank you for your attention, and goodbye.